Duh. Welcome back to Reddit. Top of this week. Starting out, we got a complaint post. People are actually very upset by this, and it is the top post of this week as well. Basically, it's being said that 80 credits is equal value to a legendary star drop that gives you, at a minimum, 500 credits or a good skin or a legendary brawler or anything like that, which isn't exactly true, so people are pretty mad about this. Maybe we'll get compensated for it after all. We don't know, we'll see. All of the loading screens coming in this update. I don't know if we've already seen all of them. I've seen this one everywhere. I, th I don't know if I've seen this one, but yeah, uh, pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it's the same post, but in meme format. 80 credits equals legendary star drop. Yeah, people are really pissed about this. Oh my God. <laughs> Here are all of the Brawl Day rewards. If you haven't taken a look at this, we're on like day six now or day five. The end is 10 gems, pretty good. Pretty excited for day 13 though. Is it just me or are the naming convention getting worse? Brawl boxes to star drop, star points to bling, brawl tokens to battle pass XP, brawlers to star stars what is happening what am i missing <laughs> i prefer ball boxes i prefer bling i prefer xp honestly because tokens doesn't really make any sense with the new format and i would of course prefer brawlers over stars what is this larry and lori skin concept apples to oranges is that actually from that response dude <laughs> that's all the subreddit is today holy moly on a growly does this really annoy anyone else kinda because i always expect that like maybe i missed something but it's just always there it always says free i think it's just a bug but i mean whatever i am a firm believer that the crow hyper chart is not that good at least as somebody who mains solo modes because of the fact that it takes so long to get it's like jesse's it's like miko's it doesn't work in showdown it probably doesn't work in duels it probably doesn't work in duo showdown because you can't get it so whenever a hyper chart is like that i just automatically think it's kind of bad because i want to actually be able to use it if you can't use it it is completely useless but there is a pretty good use case with crow's hypercharge and that one singular use case is in heist where you can one shot the safe if given the right buffs and even if you don't have these buffs you can still do like half of the safe's health which is super broken so for heist yes this hypercharge is super op everywhere else i don't even think it's that good because you can only get it like one time a game if that i'll build my own wall brick by brick i'll be alone but safe but wait fang hypercharge go sick come on this again it's the second time except this one just looks better this is the meme of the week i guess some custom modifiers for friendly matches. Super is always loaded, gadgets are infinite, and no gadget cooldown. It would be fun for like special things that you could mess around with. The creator of these brawlers has confirmed a bunch of different brawler ages on Twitter following some controversy with Colette. I really wonder what this controversy might be. Edgar, child, Colette, adult, Penny, child, B, adult. Meg, 20 to 20? Isn't Meg like eight? Wait, what is happening? Tara is a mystery. We will never know. <laughs> I can't believe this. I see so many people putting this as their profile picture on Twitter. I think this was the Evolved Archers reveal for Clash Royale. And then for Brawl Stars, they're like, oh, that got, that got a lot of traction. That one foot that we posted on Twitter, oh, that went, that went crazy. That went hard. So let's just add Piper's foot as a player icon. Yep. Congratulations, Supercell. You've done a great thing. Dude, I don't get it. I don't. Star powers shouldn't be situational. And I agree because you can still get them with RNG. And if you ever equip the wrong one in certain modes, it could be utterly useless. So I feel like kits could actually be pretty good. But I have an idea for how they can make it better. How about stat bonuses are increased by 200%? Miko is the best brawler, huh? Mm. Funny you say that. Because it seems... Miko is the next brawler who is physically unable <laughs> to kill another brawler. Even with the hypercharge? Hold on, let him cook. Hold on. Maybe he'll get it. Oh, well, the Frank attacked. He didn't heal. That takes incredibly long. He still didn't kill him. He can't. As long as he doesn't have a gadget or hypercharge, he can't kill Frank. It's the Colette situation all over again. You need a teammate. Imagine this in solo showdown. That would be hilarious. Guys, I found the apples and oranges every other post i swear <laughs> i have not opened it yet so it could be bugged but i will confirm later whether or not i have that star drop rt's trio is completed 
technically, I mean, they are calling it Larry and Lori. I just call it Larry because it's shorter. My idea on this is like, it would be Nita and Bruce, Jesse and Scrappy. Larry and Lori is like just Larry because Lori is the spawnable. You can't play as Lori, but you can swap weapons with them and stuff like that. Like Lori is not a playable character. So I feel like it should just be named one character instead of two. So are we getting more mini supers in the future? Mini Otis super and mini Leon super? Yeah, I was uh, surprised to see that Kit has a almost not even a mini Leon super. It's almost a full Leon super. This is five seconds. Not only that, it's kind of better than Leon super because you can charge your own super faster while invisible. So it's only one second shorter than Leon's actual default super. Am I a noob if I don't have any rank 25? I started playing Brawl Stars three years ago and I feel like rank 25 is too hard for me. I don't have that many either. I just don't play the game. I've had a couple times where I decide that I want to do it. So then I push like a random brawler to 25 or 30 but that's as far as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna try to go any further. When matchmaking starts taking 20 minutes and people are literally trying their hearts out using literal Discord AI to snipe people, it doesn't become a fun game anymore. It literally ruins the game experience, and that would go for any video game. In this game, it's especially bad. There are people in the Brawl Stars scene whose entire life story is based on sniping other players in Brawl Stars, and I just, I think it's so sad. Mm, yes, 80 credits equals legendary star drop. I've never seen this before. Edgar's hypercharge is balanced for teamers. Oh, he's gonna pop off in solo showdown. That is actually a uh, pretty good looking hypercharge, I'm not gonna lie. He has one cube. Okay, Fang could have just supered him, gadgeted, and then killed him. That had counterplay. I feel like some of these people might have been able to do something about him, but nobody even tried. I don't even know if he got hit more than once that entire interaction. This is destroying my eyesight, but I do agree having more toon spike would be great. The inbox is blocking your leave button and you can't press it. I think you can still press it if you like barely tap it correctly, but it is kind of annoying. I have dealt with that before. Supercell, if they had to compensate veteran players for the buff trophy road, it, it does seem a little over dramatic. I think like one reward will just ruin the entire game. I don't think it's really that deep, but it's just not something that they want to do. <laughs> this is so dramatic. Supercell approved skin guide. How to make a Supercell approved skin. Choose one or two from the hot girls category, including Colt. Choose one edgelord brawler. All right, I'm not looking at the rest of this, but congratulations or I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that virus 8-bit alternative isn't that good. And uh, I can see why, because it's not that different. Changing it from green to blue would be good. But like, what about red? I feel like that would look really cool. Pro deals 54% of high safe health in one hypercharged super. This is very true. I'm forgetting, is heist even in the game anymore? I thought they removed it from like the normal rotation. Did they bring it back? Danny Chungus. See, this is the content we like to see, guys. Opinions on the new balance changes. Uh, Nani got a health nerf instead of a damage nerf. I thought that was interesting. Charlie got four nerfs, but is still meta brawler. <laughs> Good to see, I guess. I didn't even know that Pearl was slow enough to warrant a speed buff. Colt getting a real speed buff is pretty cool. And a lot of other brawlers that maybe could have used something different are just getting health buffs. Like, I don't think Ash needs 400 more health, does he? Bo got a massive damage buff. Speaking of balance changes, there's something that I really would like to see, specifically with Crow. Crow was a good brawler because of his star powers and because of his gadgets. Those were like the only things that got nerfed from him. And when they got nerfed, he became a B, C tier brawler in like every mode. Nobody played him anymore. He was a bad brawler just because of his star power and his gadget getting nerfed. One of each. Why is he so reliant on one star power and one gadget? And now probably one hypercharge just for heist. Maybe this hypercharge will just keep him in the meta for the longest time. But if he becomes bad again, rather than buffing his star power and his gadget, why don't we buff something else? If he could get his super more often, he would have more versatility or realistically anything that just is not the gadget and the star power. The worst thing about him is his supercharge rate which goes hand in hand with this hypercharge so if he does end up being weak after the hypercharge meta shifts around a little bit because the only thing carrying him right now is going to be his hypercharge maybe they should look at buffing other things about him now that he's been out for a few minutes what do we think of miko i think he's fun i don't know what everyone else thinks so leave a comment need a hypercharge gets a shotgun yeah you know what wouldn't mind that is this fair Oof. Okay, wait. Maybe I actually didn't get mine. I'm gonna test it. I'm checking. Oh. 
It's already claimed. Guys, I didn't get it. The next post is the same thing. <laughs> it's the same screenshot. Optional ads are coming to Brawl Stars for free to play players, which is something that we had a really long time ago where you would open a Brawl box and then have the option to watch an ad to get more rewards. So I'm curious where this is gonna take place why and uh how often this feels so weird to look at the chromatic rarity changes it does look weird and the fact that now there's like 20 of each rarity besides uh rare and super rare it looks so funny because rare has like six brawlers seven brawlers super rare has like 10 or something maybe i'm going a bit off there but mythic has 23 legendary has 10 which i think there's more legendary brawlers than rare brawlers in the game now it really says something about <laughs> the rarity discrepancy can this madness come to an end even the pvz heroes community is making memes about us there's no way in the world man <laughs> Have you ever seen a stack of cats? Because I haven't until now. This is so weird. I didn't think that this would actually work. Like, I had no idea that a uh, kit could super on a kit who's already supered on a kit. That sounds so confusing. And that's why I didn't think it would work. We have circled around from the beginning of this episode to the end, and it is the same post number 10. Brawl Stars MFs when they go to a fruit section of a supermarket trying to not have a mental breakdown. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, before I even saw more than one post about this, people are pretty mad. So maybe we will end up seeing a compensation for people who uh, missed out on a legendary star drop. I missed out on it by like 20 trophies. I just hit 40k and then the update came out. I'm not that pressed about it though. I know a lot of other people are so uh, hopefully something good comes out of it for you guys. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's Reddit video. Subscribe, trying to hit 1 million. Thanks. Uh, bye! <laughs>